Hello everyone, I'm Rogmus2099, and I decided I'm going to take a look at um, my only Studio Series figure, which is Lockdown. I'm um, sorry that I got my hand in the thumbnail. Eh. Eh, I don't edit them. Um, so let's just take a quick look at his box. So here it is, it has a nice photo of him holding the spark extractor, which he doesn't come with. So, um, I'm a little annoyed about that, because that was his signature weapon. Um, of course, he is number 11, and his wavemate is Jazz, and of course it does show other characters, and this is basically the enemy ship infil infiltration. Yeah, really, that's all it says. Lockdown proves why he is the most featured bounty hunter, feared Sorry, feared bounty hunter across the galaxies. And of course, with the Studio Series figures, you pull out the inside part, and you get a very nice looking stand. That was the box. I think these are actually pretty good. Um, sometimes they do have a tendency to do that, which is just like kind of fold up. Um, and maybe I'll use this for a stop motion because it is a good, nice photo of his ship. So, lock down. So he is a Lamborghini, I think. I don't pay much attention to cars. I don't know if you can tell that, but I do. I don't pay much attention to cars. So he does, he is sporting a nice gunmetal gray slash metallic color, which makes him very good. It makes him a definitely nice figure to look at, and um, I definitely think that his car mode and his transformation is good um, compared to other people, other Transformers. I don't know why I say people. Why did I say people? Sorry. I forgot to do this. Here he is with Hot Shot from Transformers Prime. They look good together. So... Underneath, not that much robot kibble. I do think that he deserves a paint wash. Um, I'll just show you his weapons now. He comes with this kind of sword thingy. And then this hook thingy. Which, the hook looks nice. The hook looks nice. So, down to transformation. Um, what you're going to start off by doing is untabbing the sides. You're uh, untabbing these little sides near the wheels. And then what you do is you pull this up, fold those in. And by the way, his legs are a lot like uh, the Last Night Barricade, just in how they transform. But I don't know if they actually used that as like, I don't know, inspiration or something. So you fold this up, you pull these down, you hinge that part in. And then you're gonna bring up the head, and then tab in the backpack, and then rotate these parts, fold those parts in. Yes, yeah, sir. A lot of it is just duplication. And then, I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. And here is a lockdown. So, just off the bat, this is a much better lockdown to the previous one that we got for Age of Extinction. Um, I don't know if you can see that head, but that's a really nice face sculpt. It looks exactly like the movie version. It does. Um, oh, I'm just going to tap on his weapons. Only because it gets really hard with my arms around the camera. And it just gets hard because I can't, like, it's just it's too big and too clunky. Too freaking clunky. And there you have him. So, Lockdown looks very good. And he definitely looks like a feared bounty hunter. That's what the bio says about him. But he does look like that. He does look the part of a movie and just a good Lockdown. So, I definitely think that if you're gonna buy a studio series figure 
I'd say him. I I like him mainly because um, he does need a paint wash, but it's not so severe that it's like something that I mind when I first bought him. When I first bought him, I just thought maybe I'll give him a paint, a silver paint wash, just to bring out some of the detail. And he's not all that hollow, which um, if you don't like hollow transformers, I don't really care. I mean, they're not my favorite, but they're not the worst. I mean, I have plenty of Transformers that are hollow. I have die cast in them. And they're really sturdy. Oh, for scale. Here he is with a knockoff thing. I don't know what this is. Kind of like it. <laughs> and then here he is. With hot shot. Get your weird clown feet positioned in the right. There he is with hot shot. Now. Articulation is a ball joint at the shoulder, which is a little limited due to these pieces. A bicep swivel, a bend at the elbow. He has no real waist articulation. He sort of has a little bit, but you can only access this very certainly. Um, mushroom peg, at least swivel for the upper part. The legs can go forward this much, back that much. Of course, the swivel underneath it, the bend. And the foot can fold up all the way due to transformation. And then, the best part about him, the head. The head is on a ball joint, but then his neck is on a hinge. So, you can, <laughs> due to transformation, you can get some pretty wacky poses with his head. Um, which I think is the best part. Because it's very good. Oh, um, stop falling off. But he is a very good Transformer. I'd say if you can find him, pick him up. He is probably one of my favorite in the Studio Series. But that may change with the uh, World War Bumblebee. So anyway, for right now, I just have to say this is a good, decent figure. If you like Lockdown and you don't have one, this one's a perfect one. Anyway, I've been Ronimus 2099. I will see you in the next video. Now tell me, Bot. I know you know I'm the most feared bounty hunter ever. So, I'm gonna ask you this one more time. Did you, or did you not, steal my cranberries? I didn't, I swear, I swear I didn't. Please don't kill me. You lie! You lie, I can tell. That's it. Cover the camera. No one needs to see this. That's what you get for watching me torture someone. I'll come for you next. Just joking. <laughs> That's a wrap, everyone.